Hey, this is part four of the Homestead Garden Flow Hive series. Today we're introducing the nukes, uh, the honeybee nukes, which are coming over right now. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I've got to get the hive uh, taken down and get, re get it ready to receive the nucleuses. My friend, he's a master beekeeper. His name is Ken Mulestein. He's on his way over from his apiary, zombie apiaries over in Gold Hill, Oregon. And he's bringing me some uh, eight frame nukes that I purchased from him. We're going to be installing the, a nuke in this box or a bee nucleus. So I got to go prepare the box and then Ken will show up and we'll install them. So um, let's get on with this show. So in preparation for um, installing nucleus of bees into my hives, I got to do some pre-op work. Uh, first of all, I, I, a short explanation of what a nuke of bees is or a nucleus of bees. It is a box, usually a five frame box. Uh, one frame pretty much has brood on it uh, that is capped and unhatched yet. Another frame has capped brood on it that is uh, emerging. Another frame is pretty much uh, food and uh, then you have the a whole population a whole colony of bees already there they're working they're active and you also have uh, an, an empty frame for them to work while they're in that nucleus because the bees they need to work and that's what they're designed to do and then you have that queen that's floating around in the hive there's two methods that a beekeeper who raises nukes will do. He'll either cage a queen or he'll just let the queen run free inside that hive. But the hive will be blocked off and closed off so the bees can't escape while he's transporting them. The most optimal time for transporting and setting bees is probably in the cool of the morning. So I'm going to open the hive. Okay, once I have it unstrapped, I'm going to go ahead and remove my outer cover. And then underneath of this, I have my inner cover. And that goes over the top of the Honey Super. And this is the Flow Hive. I'm going to go ahead and remove this and set it aside. This is the Queen Bee Excluder. This keeps the queen from moving up and laying brood in the Honey Super. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And this is a brood chamber or a deep. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. The reason why I completely disassembled the hive is because I'm going to modify it and get it ready. So all we have to do is just open it up, add the nucleus, the five frames of nuke, and put it back together quickly and let the bees start doing what bees do best. So the next step is just installing the bees. So uh, any moment now. Okay, I got to get suited up. The bees are here. He's an advocate for nucleus bees. Uh, he raises his own nukes, so right. they're all acclimated to the environment instead of higher, you know, buying nukes from like we live in the northwestern United States right. and buying nukes from Florida. There's a big difference because those nukes have never wintered. Correct. Now he pointed out that the studies are showing that packaged bees have an 80% fail rate. They don't know why, but across the board, everywhere, for everybody, no matter who you are, package bees have an 80% fail rate. So that's why I opted to go through you because you're local. Right. And this is, by, by the way, Ken Mulestein, my buddy, and he has zombie apiaries. And he raises his bees locally here, so that's the, another reason why I am buying local bees because now they have the genetics to be able to sustain and endure the winter months here. So let's get these girls installed. Do you need any of these? <laughs> I'm 
I'm excited. Beautiful. So we don't need any of these frames? Uh, we probably will. We'll take that one. Okay. We'll probably that one for now. Okay, and then you'll just take these back with you. Okay. So here we have all the honey nectar coming in. And right there, the yellow, that's the bee bread. So this is a food frame. Queen will probably not be on this one. Oh, cap. So this is all your cap brood here. If you look very carefully, you see the white down in there. That's all your new larva. So that's kind of a, if we don't find the queen, we can say, well, we got proof of life because we've got the larva down in there. I love the sound. <laughs> I just love that sound of the bees. Now, can ops for spraying with a sugar solution, as do I, instead of smoking? There are times when you want to smoke, but sugar kind of gets the bees preoccupied, licking the sugar off each other. Kind of calms them down a little bit. Here, Jerry, we have, um, this is all your drone comb right in here, or your drone eggs, and then this is all your larva right in there. Nice! So this is this Ooh. nice beautiful spot, and you see up here in the corner again, the very edge, that's your, that's your larva right there. A lot of potential worker bees going on there. Yeah, that's probably 4,000 bees on this frame right here, plus the bees are already live on there, so that's maybe five, 6,000 bees just on that frame. Mm. Nice. I like the sight of all the brood in there. That's a positive, real positive sign. Okay, we have food again on this frame. More food. And then I've got this other chamber we can put these into. Let's do this, Jerry. Let's put these two food frames in the next uh, in the next box. Gotcha. Okay, this is the this is the food box. Or this is the food box. That's a food frame. Go ahead and scrape off this. Okay. Because that's, that's strong root anyway there. And then we do corner, 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 corner. Corner, 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 yeah. Yeah, it works out perfectly for not squishing bees. Yeah. Queen excluder and check for the queen. I think she's in there.
Now, do I want to just cap this with a cloth, or just want to put the uh, honey super on top? The, yeah, go and put your honey super on. Without the cloth. Uh, my buddy Ken came over. He raised some um, uh, nucleus of bees. Uh, they were uh, eight frames each that I ended up buying. Gosh, it's so nice having bees back on the homestead. I thank Ken for uh, raising these bees for me and bringing them over here. I got eight frames of, um, we got a really nice queen. We got some brood. We got some uh, larva eggs. Uh, we've got hatching brood, we've got the worker bees, we've got drones, we've got everything we need and we were able to divide them between the two uh, deeps. So now we've got a working flow hive. Yes! Yeah, I am a happy homesteader. Uh, this hive is now going to be entertaining because it's got the different viewing ports on it so we can watch the bees work. The honeycomb in the flow hive apparatus is on that top chamber. Hey, stay tuned for those future videos. You could do that by subscribing first, then clicking a bell icon. That triggers the alerts that let you know I just uploaded a new video. Also, please give us a thumbs up, like the channel, let us know how you guys are enjoying the information here. Uh, also, and also click that share button that helps us out. It's uh, sharing these videos on your social media platforms helps introduce our show to more people and hopefully get them inspired and interested in beekeeping also. Remember my mantra, save the bees, you save the world. And we're gonna do our darndest to uh, keep the food uh, bee population going, to keep that, that food production going for our needs and our consumption. Remember always be safe and always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye now.